Capricorn, here is Georgia from Humble Voice of Tarot, and this is going to be your reading for the month of June 2018, for the full month, okay? Um, starting this, a monthly switch are better for me and maybe hopefully for you as well. Um, okay, Capricorn, I'm, I'm going to do the general end. Uh, love life together so just keep um keep them in mind okay so let's start and thank you so much for uh, your patience during the time i was sick and i'm still kind of sick but i'm going to try to have this done okay so bear with me okay let's go for it i'm just gonna put it down here okay so <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, let's start. If you're interested what tarot decks I'm using, I'm not going to be saying that anymore. It's down in the... You can ask me in the comments and I'm going to answer, okay? So, no, actually, uh, first, general. Please, my beautiful angels, please tell me what's going on with Capricorn in general life. Give me a messages of general reading messages for June 2018. Please, my beautiful angels, what is happening? What's going on with Capricorn in general life? What's going on with Capricorn in the month of June 2018? What are the messages to Capricorn should know? Month of June 2018. What's going on with Capricorn in June 2018? This was What's going on with Capricorn in general reading for June 2018? That's the outcome, overall message, yeah, for generals. Okay, my beautiful what's going on with Capricorn in general life in June 2018? What's going on with Capricorn in general life for the June 2018? What's going on with Capricorn? In general life for June 2018. What's going on with Capricorn in general life in June 2018? What's going on with Capricorn in love life in the June 2018? What's going on with Capricorn in love life in the June 2018? What's going on with Capricorn in love life in the June 2018? What's going on with Capricorn in love life for June 2018? Overall message is this one again, yeah? Okay, what's going on with Capricorn in a love life for the June of 2018? What's going on with Capricorn in love life for June 2018? What's going on with Capricorn in love life for June 2018? 
going on with Capricorn in Love Life for the June 2018. overall okay let me see if you can see so my cat wants to tell me some messages okay so Capricorn let's go for it so for the general you have uh, the two of earth which is two of pentacles and ten of ten of wands then you have a sun and queen of swords then you have a eight of air eight of swords and three of cups then you have uh, the moon and uh, four pentacles. For the love life, you have a flirt and a simply love, which is six of cups. Engagement and uh, dreams and decisions, seven of cups. New love. The flow, which is the wheel of fortune, and the wedding, and uh, love abounds, which is eight of cups. The beautiful cards for love, by the way. So let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is some kind of decision you need to make in your life at the moment, in your general, yeah? But it's really overwhelming. It takes all your energy. It's a kind of decision between two things, two situations. And uh, maybe um, in a workplace it could be, uh, maybe you have like two positions that you have to decide for maybe there are some uh, two situations that you have to decide in between them but you it's really really hard for you to decide for because maybe both of them have some kind of um, some kind of a connected with you in a positive way that you are not able to decide much with that these ten of wands with the two of pentacles um, it could be in the work environment it could be in the family environment it could be in a mental state as well okay um, Maybe it could be between a two situation between a love and a work or between a love and home between two people in love as well but uh, let's see what's uh, what is the cards of love going to say but I don't see much connection with love at the moment mm. It's going to be more likely a situation in your life, in general, in environment at work, in your family environment. Because this um, sun and the queen of swords can uh, represent the family environment, could be your mother. If you have an earth sign around you, a more likely female, but it could be also male because it's general reading. It could be some air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, that you're dealing with. It could be your home environment. It could be um, 
happy home environment because you have a son okay could be some situation that that air sign is making you feel happy so maybe that air sign is offering 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 you some kind of happy solution happy environment happy situation that knows that you could achieve something alongside with them um by the way i'm sorry if you will hear my doggies moving scratching and all that stuff in the background he has allergies from the summer from uh, the air in here and uh, because we are currently in a different country and he's not used to it so he got skin allergy from that from the air and pollution probably or something so i'm sorry about that anyway uh let's move on so what i feel as well is there could be some kind of a um, mental block mental uh mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let me maybe situations you uh, maybe you have too many things going on and you are so overwhelmed maybe too many people want too many things from you maybe you are trying to juggle juggle the work and the duties at home maybe children my uh, husband or uh, wife maybe you're trying to juggle uh, many situations at once and you feel you don't have time to stop to breathe maybe people want to ask you out maybe the the parties you should be going but you are uh, refusing them because you don't have enough time and you feel like blocked from them you feel um isolated from them okay and you feel that you are not happy anymore because you all the time doing something and maybe that's why you have this close person around you that's keeping you happy this air sign to queen of swords maybe it's this type that this person is making you happy because it's a major arcana so as well a major situation in your life that is uh, basically kind of like a nice bridge over whatever is happening in the air the bridge is beautiful the, the foundation is beautiful in your life you're still happy you're still feeling uh happy wherever you are whatever you do or at least with this person for those of you <coughs> excuse me i'm still quite sick so mm -hmm. But it's definitely overwhelming. You need to slow down, uh, Capricorn. Maybe there's too many things happening in this time. Maybe you're going through some kind of a parties. Maybe there are some like birthday parties. A, I don't know other types of parties. And maybe you are running away like a crazy horse and just trying to make things done, have things done quickly but you uh, put uh, too much pressure on yourself and you're trying to handle it all could be also some feeling of uh, some fears about finances I feel that you could have a you could be afraid that maybe uh, you don't have enough money and you want to save more maybe you have fear from with this moon and the four of uh, pentacles you can have a fear that um there's a need to save maybe you could have a fear um that you're not gonna have enough money that uh 
situation could get tight so you are trying to save as much money as possible for future and forgetting to um, enjoy yourself maybe forgetting to go out there and spend some money forgetting or forgetting about yourself maybe you haven't bought yourself for ages anything nice maybe you are way too much overprotective over money maybe it's time you should finally spend something have fun go out there you seem overwhelmed capricorn you seem you put yourself in pressure too much about many many things that you forgetting to enjoy yourself sometimes you need to enjoy have a fun because uh, you cannot <coughs> you kind of just uh, uh, work 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 or have duties do chores uh, look after others and forgetting about yourself okay so this third this this cards uh the third wants to tell you loosen up a little bit there is a need okay it's good to save money it's good to be uh protective over uh, money or over your finances but it's not necessary to be overprotective, over uh, over saving. You need to think of yourself. You need to enjoy yourself. You need to uh, buy something for yourself, or you know, just go out, have drinks, have fun with your friends. Sometimes it's just that. There, there doesn't. It doesn't mean that you. If you go out, if you have fun, you gonna spend uh, hundreds of thousands of euros. No, you can just enjoy yourself in a cheap way. But it's necessary that you not uh, that you don't forget about yourself. Don't isolate isolate yourself from others. Enjoy your life because what is left there for you then? Just duties. You need to enjoy yourself. It seems like you're very overwhelmed of duties. Too many things happening. That's what I feel, Capricorn. <coughs> I lost the voice as well. So I'm only getting back my voice. So I need to be careful. Mm. Yeah, I feel this moon is about the finances, about the things. Or maybe there are things that you are clinging uh, onto and a situation you're clinging onto and you can't let go. You cannot release. You cannot loosen up. And maybe this person, the queen of swords, this air sign, is the one that's showing you the happy life maybe they inviting you maybe they show you hey let's go out let's do something maybe it's your friend maybe it's your mother your family member somebody who wants to show you that the life is not only about work and duties that you need to have fun you know it's important capricorn I know you type of person you that uh, are very practical that is thinking about getting things done first and very often you forget about yourself because you're too giving to you have tendencies to overload yourself with practical things and material things material situations but you need to loosen up a little bit, Capricorn. Yeah, you need to find time for yourself. Especially because of your love. I'm seeing here. Okay, let's see. Let's move on to love. That's why I feel from the general life. But I'm going to come back at the end and see if there is any connection with the love life. Let's move on. 
So what I feel in, with love life, Capricorn, is that um, there is somebody you may be knowing from the past with this flirt and I simply love the six of cups. Could be somebody from a past, maybe you knew them in past, maybe you've met them in past and then your journey or your life separated and yet you reconnected somehow and realized that you really clicked. And maybe there's uh, they showing you that they really like you, maybe they kind of showing you nice advances towards you and you are way too occupied or way too isolated from them or you are kind of not seeing their advances or maybe you don't show them anything but you because you're way too occupied too preoccupied in your general life but the tarot is trying to tell you you just enjoy yourself simply love them love them show yourself some love give yourself some love you have somebody who's around you who would love to uh, reconnect with you, would love to get to know you more, would love to give you some love, some some nice tenderness. Just let them show you, just, you know, enjoy yourself in that love because that person seems they could be somebody uh, that could be great. Um love material it could be brilliant material look you've got maybe you have two people that are around you that or more two or more soothers at the moment because you have a flirt from the past you have a new love coming around yes and you may be thinking which person am I going to engage into a future, into the further commitment or further a conversation, further romance? You might be thinking, is it going to be the new person or is it going to be the uh, person from the past? For others of you, if you have just one person on the horizon, maybe could be <coughs> coming from the past. but with a brand new feelings for you of for that maybe in past you didn't feel anything for them and suddenly now when they came uh xyz years older you realize oh my god he's really cute or she's really gorgeous i really want to reconnect with them i want to find out more about them how come i haven't noticed them in past and now they came all this beautiful around me yeah, so it could be the same person, yeah, because because the destiny brought them to you and is telling you just go with the flow. Take that, take that chance, make time for yourself and for them and go enjoy yourself because they could be beautiful. There could be the beginning of a beautiful love happening because look, you've got engagement, you've got engagement, and then you've got wedding. So the person is a wedding material as well. This person that is around you at the moment, if it's one, then you've easy, you have it easy because that person is great material for your future. A love life from for a future a deeper commitment that could develop into the engagement excuse me and the wedding yeah and uh, you've got a major arcana which is a wheel of fortune so your destiny brought them to you you are now on the top of your destiny wheel so you are not longer controlling it it's controlling you you just flow with them you just let the wind blow you just let the destiny flow and let the destiny carry you on their wings okay because the new love is here okay the new love new romance or new feeling in the old love 
because you you seem to be very blocked isolated maybe the seven of cups the decisions and daydreams maybe you are daydreaming and maybe you are trying to decide what do you want in your life but because you are too preoccupied in your general life you are maybe finding hard to find a place to prioritize you need to sometimes prioritize because you may be always putting yourself for last but this time it's important that you put yourself first put yourself first because you need to build your life other people will always take if you keep giving but when are you going to give to yourself Capricorn that's time this time has come that's the time now it's the time you need to give to yourself because there's somebody around you that really truly loves you or that really truly is interested in you genuinely interested in you and is a great great opportunity for a beautiful long-lasting love that could turn into the wedding in future because look you have a love abound eight of cups and you have a wedding this situation involves marriage so i'm not saying right away but if you go with the flow if you let the destiny lead your steps you can pretty well end up married to somebody that you really love and they love you For those of you, it could be new love, but maybe it could be two people, as I said. For those of you, it could be two people that you are trying to flirt with and realize which one could be the, the right person for you, okay? Again, let the heart and the destiny decide for you because at the right time in the perfect timing you will know keep flirting keep enjoying yourself okay but listen to your heart which one your heart inclines more to you know you need to question yourself and please capricorn give yourself a chance okay give yourself some spare time for love this is time that you can build something here build some beautiful love and everybody needs love love thrives and our heart thrives with that so just capricorn forget your chores forget your other things for a minute at least and go out there and have fun enjoy your flirts enjoy your dates enjoy your new love i'm sure you know who i'm talking about and if they not there yet they will come this month okay now somebody comes so keep your open eyes keep your eyes open keep your heart open could be somebody from the past yeah somebody re reappearing from the past doesn't necessarily have to be your ex-boyfriend could be could be somebody you knew in past in your childhood that reappeared suddenly in your in your environment and you know you realize that wow there is some attraction between us okay hold that and let's go for it go for it because it could be beautiful love uh, building between you if you let it go if you let it happen if you let your destiny carry you on the on the wings to the right direction if you don't overwhelm yourself from practical things because what i feel from the general reading um you may have not much time for yourself 
but the love is screaming here. I want some space. I, I want some place in your heart for, you know, for opportunity. So go for it. Do it. Okay, Capricorn. Drop some of these sticks from Ten of Swords, uh, Ten of Wands. Drop some of these. You don't need to carry them all. You don't need to carry all the burden. Let this woman help you. If it's your mother, air sign, or some older friend, let them help you. Or maybe... It could be you, but you see, you are cold at the moment because you have too many things in your mind. Okay, enjoy yourself. Release those thoughts, release those worries, release those duties and just enjoy yourself, Capricorn. This month is necessary that you enjoy yourself in a romantic, in romantic life and in a fun life. Go out there, have fun. Maybe you will meet them in on any party in a in the place that you normally go have fun okay if people invite you somewhere go there maybe they'll be there waiting for you your love okay okay capricorn that was your reading i hope it did resonate with you if it did resonate please give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like my channel and please give me feedback so that i know if it did resonate it or if it if you liked it or not um tell me your stories yeah and if it didn't resonate also don't forget to check your moon sign rising sign or venus sign because sometimes that resonate more yeah if you would like private reading i will uh write my email in the description box and you can uh, uh drop me email and i will send you more details i'm open to uh private readings whenever okay so capricorn that was your reading so i hope you enjoyed it have a beautiful day beautiful week month and i'll see you next time okay next month bye bye